It was nice to you know see him get one too because uh, you know we're training partners, we're friends, we've been knowing each other for what ten plus years now. So the comment and going out in that fashion, man, it means everything. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, like, just uh, talk through your your emotions once you cross that line. Oh man, once I crossed the line, I just thought I won. Uh, <laughs> they played with us a little bit, you know, flashing on the thing. But um, to come like that, man, to compete with a guy like you know a guy like Trey, a guy like Fred, um, I'm still taking it in to be honest with you. Do you feel that there's now obviously it's one a one two three? Uh, what does that say about uh, USA teams? I mean, it says. That, you know we're, we're back you know we're gonna be dominant for a while all of us are young you know so i think i'm like the oldest at 28 so um you know we're gonna keep fighting you know, and if you think christian coleman's going away quietly you got another thing coming he'll be back you know you'll get a guy like ronnie baker back next year man so we're gonna get better from here and the relay still to come right well, the relay still to come fantastic thank you i don't know if anybody else wants to so got off to a good start you, you didn't uh See, Fred Curl. I mean, when you crossed the line, you thought you won, or you saw something on the scoreboard? No, I thought I really thought I won. Um, you know, when you when you out there in a high pressure situation like that, you only focus on your lane. You know, so once I got to the line, I knew it was all close, but uh, I purposely didn't look over because I didn't. You know, I wasn't worried about where it was. Um, but to, you know, go out in that fashion, man. It, I, what, what can I ask for? And then did they, did your name pop up first? Or yeah, no, nah, his popped up first actually, but it stalled for a minute. Like we didn't see anything, yeah. and then once it popped up, it was him. Obviously, me, then Trey. So you know, once you finally see it, you can kind of like breathe and you know, take it all in. I'm curious. You know, I'm not a sprinter. But I think in the first round, seven guys broke 10. Fred ran faster in the first round than he did today. Is it because you're tired in the third round, or is it the no, weather? I mean, I mean no. Nah, once you get in a situation like this, man, like the semis actually is weird enough, the semis is the hardest part. You know, because um, you know that, you know, every guy in that race is trying to get to the finals. So it's such a harder a race. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know, maybe it taxed him a little bit, you know, running 9 7 in the first round. I don't know for sure. But he was able to come back and give you a 9 8. So, I mean, that, that, that speaks to his strength. You know what I'm saying? That speaks to our strength. And um, just, that's just how it goes. And I was watching Fred. I couldn't see what happened with you two. You guys are ended up on top of each other on the track. Yeah, I toppled him, man. Oh, man, to, to battle with that guy all year, man, to see what he went through last year, to come back, you know, in his fashion, you know, get a medal and kind of quiet, you know, some people up, man. It, it's special to us. You guys, who, who do you train with? I'm training with Trayvon. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, in practice, who's got the edge? Yeah, I mean, we, I, weird enough, we actually go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? He's obviously one of the best starters, you know, to ever be in this game. So, to come out, compete with him every day, and from beating him, you know, that lets me know that I'm amongst the company, you know, and we had a, we had a, uh, uh, Sonny Brown, you know, in the final, we train with him as well. So to see him, you know, come out, pop a nine, get in the final, man, it, it's just meant so much for the group. So what's next? Win the next one. What drives you? Uh, my perseverance, man. Um, you know, sometimes I, I, I battle some things that, you know, I don't talk about. You know, I just go away quietly and I, uh, you know, I just keep fighting. So my perseverance, you know, it speaks, you know, it speaks for himself, itself, obviously, you know, coming out last year, not making a team because of injury, but to come back on American soil, get a medal, I mean, we're working actually. At what point did you realize that um, this, the, the 